This program again is brought to you by M-Link Distributing, distributors of Miller Beer, made the American way. Hello and welcome to Cherokee Bowl. I'm Nick Ben Still, along with Rick Martin. Week number four of the Merit Tournament. First up today, you're looking at Bonnie Ivy. She's the only veteran on the tube. Bonnie was on back in 1984. Here we go. Little bad break. Little four or five split. Gotta fit this one up. Bonnie throws the ball real nice. Pretty straight, right down the lane, right to the pin. Bonnie's 24 years of age. She lives right here in Independence. So she got to sleep in a little longer than the rest of us. Beautiful okay. shot. We're off to a good start, Nick. The perfect shot on the spare. And here is her first match of the day, Roseanne Phelps. Oh, Rosie. She's a 31 pin handicap. Bonnie's a 24. On the Brooklyn, light nine pin. Easy spare. Rosie should pick this up with no problem. We've been watching the ladies in practice, and uh, Rosie and uh, Bonnie in our first game here both throw the ball real nice. Good spare shooters. Making it look easy. Now, Ro now Rosie is 31 years of age. She lives out in Erlanger. She is married her, to her husband, Jim. They've been married 10 years pretty serious I guess when you're married that long. <laughs> Rosie in the second. There it is. Mark it down baby. Looking good. Yeah Rosie throws I told you she throws that ball good. Nice and firm with the ball. Here comes Bonnie. She's gonna be tough too. It's gonna be an interesting first game Nick. Bonnie Ivy. Look at that. Can't throw them any better than those last two. I'm telling you, Bonnie in qualifying rolled a 241, 196, and 234. Or 671 scratch plus handicap or 743. That's a lot of wood. That is a whole lot of wood. Yeah, Bonnie's high game looks like 268. That's 671 for a series. And here we go again. Oh. Bad break. Little light. Didn't quite get to the five pin. She's gonna have to slide this one over now. Hit that five pin light on the right and slide it into the seven. She can do it. What are the odds, amateur odds of this? Probably about six or seven to one. Close. Gives Rosie an opening here, and Rosie looks like she's going to be tough. Rosie, our housewife from Merlinger. She had two kids, Nikki, eight, and David, seven. Hi, boys. Girls. Boy and girl. Rosie in the third. Good break on busting that split up a little high. But that should be an easy spare for Rosie. She gets good rotation on the ball. Watch her ball turn over out there. She gets a real good rotation on it. Look at that. Ooh. We got a good match. Yeah, Rosie's up by about 19 right now. Because she's filled all the frames and Bonnie had that one open, so. Bonnie's gonna have to get back in the pocket here. See what Rosie does here in the fourth. Ball just a little, Nick. Rosie in qualifying rolled three straight games, 200 plus, 207, 201, and three true deuces, three deuces, and three trades. That'd be a 333. That's not a bad game. 
for 630 scratch plus handicap for 723. To filling them up, Rick. Yep, she's filling those frames. Bonnie's high series was what she bowled here in the qualifier, 671. Both these ladies' high games are 268. Whatever that is worth. Bonnie in the fourth. Oh, oh it's slow. There it is. Mark it down, baby. Well, we got a lot of rooters for the women. They're, they're from the area here, and it looks like half their families, or maybe the whole family's here today. So we got a lot of crowd support for each bowl. Independence supports their bowling, that's for sure. Yes, sir. Bonnie needs one. In the fifth. Oh, Brooklyn. Yeah. Looking good. We are at the halfway point of our first women's match here at Cherokee Bowen Independence KY. Stay tuned. We are going to have a great finish. You can believe it. This is the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament. Here we go. We're back. Rosie Phelps. And Bonnie's uh, challenged her here a little bit with that double. Rosie, so she's going to have to answer. She's filled every frame. We are in the fifth. Brooklyn. Rosie bowls at the Thursday morning bowlettes, the Friday night bowlerettes. Both are at the Super Bowl. She also subs at Southern Lanes in the Super Bowl. We're going to be back at both of those houses before long. For the spare. Right on it. These ladies are just bowling machines. They're both the uh, ladies in our first game. Rosie averages 175 and uh, Bonnie 183. So they should be pretty good spare shooters. Last week, Nick, it looks like we had about 90 entries in the women's division. So our prizes this week are going to be 110 for first, 85 for second, 65 for third. Pretty close. Bruce, you threw that ball good. Solid four. Not much you can do about it. Just make the spare. Rosie for the conversion. Rosie spilled six frames. See what Bonnie can do. She's working on a pair. And Bonnie's down about seven sticks. Strike right here could put Bonnie ahead. The 310. Bonnie's going to have to fit it up like she did the first frame with the 4 5. Tough shot. This is probably about 3 to 1. You can make it a couple different ways. That's not one of them. puts Rosie ahead by about 20 sticks in the sixth frame. So Bonnie's got those two open frames, which would hurt her. Two splits. Going to have to strike. Bonnie throws a 16-pound 16 16 fingertip. Good ball. She's keeping it in the area. Yeah, the heavier ball, the more action you're going to get on the pins. Both these ladies are throwing 16 pound fingertips. That gives you the maximum action down there on the pins, the heavier the ball. Throw them around. Here's Rosie, she's up 20. Rosie's filled every frame. Those spares add up. You keep making those spares and filling those frames, Nick. In the seventh. Looks good. Another four.
You know, Rosie's got one strike, and she's got nine counts on every other ball, so she's been close. And you're getting nine on every ball. You're in the area. Another easy spare for Rosie. She's staying out of trouble. Yep. Keeping the ball in play. Shooting those one-pin spares. Now this is a lot easier now. This is the first time Rosie's been on the two, but I can remember seeing Rosie's name in the prize list week after week. That's what you got to do. Hang with it. Rosie in the eighth. Staying out of trouble. A little soft with that ball. Speed's so critical. If you soften up on one, it's got a tendency to hook a little more on you. A little too hard, it can slide. It's a little tougher spare now for Rosie because she's got two of them. Making it tough on Bonnie, filling them yeah. frames. Bonnie's going to have to put some strikes together right now. Right here, these are the two important frames, the eighth and the ninth for her. Need some strikes, got to put the pressure on. That was a little high, they fell a little funny, but that was a little high. She's got the two pin. Bonnie's ball is like a creeper. A real quiet ball. And she lays it down right on the lane. You don't. She doesn't pitch it out. It's smooth, real smooth. She throws the ball nice. Bonnie works over to Western Southern Life Insurance Company. She's a computer console operator. needs one here, Nick. This is important. She's down about 18 sticks and uh, needs to have some strikes. The Creeper. Looks good. There it is. Mark it down, baby. Well, at least that puts her in a position here to make it very interesting. That puts a little pressure on Rosie to keep the pressure on Bonnie. Right. Who's Rosie. keeping the pressure on Rosie? That's right. Rosie can determine her own fate here in the ninth and tenth. Again, staying out of trouble. Another easy spare for him. Left the three pin. Got a good break on the carry there. It was awfully high. Or the three pin. Good shot. We have about a 17 pin match. Yep. And if Rosie gets a double here, she'll just about lock it up. She can shoot 234 if she strikes out. Bonnie can shoot 227 if she strikes out. So it's still up in the air. Rosie Phelps, 10th frame. A little high again. Another 6-10. Staying out of trouble. That's right, but she's giving Bonnie a chance here. Bonnie can win with the first two and a 10th. So it's going to be interesting. That's assuming that Rosie makes this spare. Almost chopped that. That would have been a very bad break for her. So she's filled all 10 frames, Nick. The winner of this match will move on to meet Carmen Wolfenbarger. Yes, it is true. I did say it right. Yeah, you did pretty good. I had to break it up into syllables. The new third grade taught me something. Okay, hey. Phil Ball in the 10th. 221. 221. Bonnie still has a chance. She needs the first two strikes in the tenth frame here.
Our first two balls on this thing were strikes. Let's see if her last two can be. There's one! Awful good break on that. That was a very high ball. Got a lot of rooters though, doesn't she? You can hear the people yep. in the background. We got a real good crowd here today, Nick. Bonnie Ivy needs this shot to win this match in the tenth frame. Her second ball. Come on, Brooklyn! There it is! Mark it down, baby! Now she needs five she needs a pins. That's right. Where the gods must be watching over Bonnie. She got two good breaks there. Five pins. And Bonnie Ivy. Th yeah. There it is. Yeah. She did it. Bonnie Ivy, 227. To Rosie Phelps, 221. Bonnie Ivy, her last four balls. Mark it down, baby. So Bonnie's going to move on to meet Carmen Wolfenbarger who is our high qualifier in week number four of the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament. We'll be back with the championship match here at Cherokee Lanes right after this. One light beer, and that's Miller Beer. It's brought, it comes from, in this area, Mickey Link Distributing. Distributors of Miller Beer, made the American way. Have you ever seen Haley's comment? Not recently. You know, I, I didn't think, see it last time it was here. I think I did the same thing Euchre did. Just had your head in the cooler? I was grabbing a beer and it just flew on by. But it is showtime, championship time. We're looking at our high qualifier in week number four, Carmen Wolfenbarger. This gal is nervous. Yeah, young housewife here. Average is 133. And you can see she's nervous. Now, old Carmen, she's 20 years old. She lives right over the hill, Morning View. She's married to Jeffrey. And they have one son, Jeffrey Jr. She's only been bowling a few years, Nick. And uh, Dave Hines, the proprietor here, told me this was the first time she tried out for the shows last week. She'll be okay. She should. She'll, she'll loosen up here in a minute. She gets 69 pins handicap, and Bonnie gets 24, so she's given her 45 pins. Bonnie, she loves this lane. It's been good to her. Bonnie won our first match in style. Yeah, striking out the ninth and the tenth. Well, that's coming through when the heat's on. Easy spare here. Now don't forget, qualifying will be next week at the Super Bowl. What are those qualifying times? They start at 11.30, 1, 2.30, and 4. You got them down. Not bad. That's my boy. That's my partner, Rick, over there. Good job. Put him on the spot, and he responds. Here's a lady who was on the spot and responded. A little high with that. Also, we're going to be taping next week, 9 o'clock sharp, at LaRue, Old Charlie Goldfish's place, on Saturday. And Saturday, that's right. Because of Easter. Oh. Let's see if our young housewife put it together. Come on, Carmen, we're rooting for you. She lives on Little Cruise Creek Road. Yeah. That's a place I, I just like to go to Morning, morning View and just look at that Sounds street. like a pretty place. Sounds like the place to be. Get out of there. Yeah. Close enough, I guess. Here's Carmen. Here's Carmen. Close. There, there it is. is. Never a doubt. That ought to relax her a little. Putting the heat on Bonnie now. 
like I said, Carmen only averages 133. So there you are, folks. There's proof anyone can get here. Looks like Bonnie's just lost her concentration. Yeah, Bonnie might have had a letdown after finishing that uh, first game off so well. You know, sometimes you have a little bit of a letdown. Tough spare here, the one, three, six, and the nine. Bonnie, she throws the creeper ball. She can't hear it. Good spare. Let's take a look at the women's top ten finishers. Number four again was Bonnie Bowen. Number five, Georgia Webster. Number six, Janie Harrison. Seven, Sandy Bard. Eight, Tammy Etten. Nine, Sissy Van Haas. And our number ten place women's finisher was Barbara Fryman. And it took 6.58 to cash in a women's division. Oh, another pull. But there it is. Solid Brooklyn. Making it look easy. The gods are watching over Bonnie right now. Let's see Carmen. They're still falling. <laughs> That's one way to get them. I don't think I've seen that too many times. Did she get five? She got half of them. Took out the seven, eight. Big break. Seven, eight, nine, and seven, eight, nine, ten. What did she take out? It's hard to see. The shot's not going to hurt her. She's on a strike. Throw the strike here. Didn't hurt her. Get the spare. Carmen's in the lead, but she's giving away a lot of those pins that she was getting as a spot here in a difference in the handicap. Got to fill those frames. Carmen, she enjoys playing basketball, softball, swimming, camping, water skiing. Sounds like a fun person to be around. Get out of there. Carmen throws a 10-pound ball, Nick, so that's why you'll see her leave some strange things. That light ball will bounce around down there and bounce off of those pins. Pins weigh roughly about three pounds, six ounces. So a couple, you know, two or three of them almost weigh as much as her ball. Right down the middle, Carmen. That's it. Good ball. She's giving Bonnie a chance to get back in the game here now. See what Bonnie can do in the fifth. Boy, the the break god is looking over us today. Yeah, Bonnie's getting some good breaks because uh, she threw that ball and pulled it again. She's pulling a lot of them on this lane now. In fact, balls in the tenth frame she had were Brooklyn and high, so she's having a little difficulty getting lined up. She makes those spares. So at the halfway point, we got a 27 pin match. Right. 116 to 89. In favor of Carmen, our young housewife. Here's Bonnie. It's time for her to start cutting into the lead. Tough shot again, a war shot, the one, two, ten. Got to hit the head pin on the left side and throw it into the ten pin. Probably about four or five to one on this one, Nick. Tough shot, though. Get over. Two full on the head pin. Carmen's got a shot here now to extend her lead. Left up to one three six. 
throw that strike ball and you'll convert this one. Ten pound ball. Yeah. It's a light ball. There you go. hanging in there. Yeah, she's holding in pretty good. She's making some spares and that's what she has to do with that average of 133. She can, you know, shoot her average. She'll, she'll be in contention this game. That's closer. There you go. Making it look easy. Gives her a 38 pin lead. She's filled five out of the seven frames she's bowled, so she's doing well. Here's Bonnie. Let's see if she can pull off another miracle. She's going to have to start that miracle right now in the seven. There it is. Got a good break. Let's give a plug here, Nick, for uh, Cherokee's going to have some summer legs, and they're forming now, so anyone that's interested in joining a summer leg, give them a call down here at Cherokee. It's never too late. That's right. They'll be forming uh, very shortly, so give them a call down here, and they'll get you signed up any night you want. Needs this There's one. There's Bonnie. That's a bus. Mark ball. it down, baby. She's on the comeback attack. Cuts the lead to 28. Carmen's going to have to fill these frames now. Carmen in the eighth. Carmen Wolfenbarger. A little bit out the window. Took four of them out. Got a tough spare. Doesn't lose any count though. She's on a strike, so... Bear here is no worse than a solid 10 pin. Carmen's highest game ever was a 202. And her highest series was a 538. Ooh. Carmen in qualifying shot a 190, 191, and 157 for her high series of a 538 plus handicap for a 745. Yeah, both our ladies shot their high series in the qualifying, both Bonnie and uh, Carmen. Carmen needs a mark here. In the ninth. Another tough spare, a 1279. Got to hit that head pin on the right side, throw the two into the seven, and take the nine with the ball. It's close. Yeah. That was a big shot. Big spare. But Bonnie's got the hammer now. Bonnie can end the game. Bonnie can shoot 235 if she strikes out. And the best Carmen can do is 231. So Bonnie's got the hammer this frame. She's on her favorite lane. She's on number eight. Brooklyn! And another Brooklyn. Deja vu, maybe? Might be. It's going to come down to the 10th frame. That gets her within roughly six pins of Carmen. This is the frame, Nick. In the tenth. Bonnie working on three. Make that comeback. Mark it down, baby. That makes it tough. It makes it tough for Carmen. Carmen's gonna have to double in the tenth. Unless Bonnie gets this one in, it's all over. Bonnie Ivy. Strong four in a row. On the comeback, in the tent. <laughs> or she finishes these games off like a Mark Roth or a Marshall Holman or one of those pro bowlers. Boy, it's 
tough to respond under that kind of pressure, but she's throwing the strikes in the ninth and tenth every game. Amazing. Bonnie, two, thirty, five. Bonnie Ivy throws the last six shots. Unbelievable, really responded when she had to. She was down 38 pins in the sixth, comes back and throws six in a row to lock it out. You know, and Carmen's bowled nice for, uh, you know, 133 average bowler. She's bowled real nice. Get a break. You know, what a spare. She's going to shoot two something, ten, 18, 19, 20, somewhere around there. So she's bowled better than her average. You know, she's bowled about a 150 game. So she's bowled 20 pins better than her average. What do they say? Nobody misses the head pin? Nobody leaves the head pin. <laughs> oh, <I see> it. <laughs> Come on, Carmen. There you go. She's bowled very well. She looks a little disappointed. She's only had three open frames, you know, out of ten. And the first one where she was very nervous, you could see, and got one pin. So Carmen's going to finish with a two, one, two, 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 two twenty. But the day certainly belongs to Bonnie Ivy with a 235 and a 227 to be our champion here in week four of the Northern Kentucky BPA Merit Tournament. Good shooting, Bonnie. Congrats, congrats. We'll be back here at Cherokee Lanes in Independence with the gentlemen in the 10th annual BPA Merit Tournament brought to you by M-Link Distributing. Stay tuned.